Hey guys, it's Megan and Sparky here, and we are kicking off a weekend reading vlog. So I have two books that I really want to get done this weekend, which is a little ambitious, but I don't have work. I don't have school as in class today, but I do have a lot of homework I need to do. I'm just going to be very ambitious this weekend. I'm just going to say that. But here are the two books that I plan on reading. Um, the first one, and I think the first one I'll get to is Keeper of the Lost Cities Lodestar. It's the fifth book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series. Honestly, I can't really tell you anything that's happening in this book, but um, the synopsis for the first book is there's a young girl named Sophie who discovers that she is an elf and she is taken to the elven world and she's taught uh, how to control her um, special abilities and um, kind of learning the mystery of why she was in the human world and not the elven world to begin with. Um, she goes to a magical school. It's really cute and whimsical and I'm excited to get to this one because so the first four books um, there's just a lot going on. You're really kind of thrown into the world, into the mystery, and while it's really fun and fast-paced, uh, it's a little much. <laughs> it's a lot for my tiny brain. So in this last, in the fourth book, the one before this one, it actually slows down a little and it gets a little more focused on a central plot line instead of all these multiple ones. And I really like that, so I'm excited for this one to see the progression happen and just to have a more focused central story. So I'm really excited for this one. The next book that I am going to want to read this weekend is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colhurst. Um, this is a young adult fantasy book um, that I've never heard about and I just saw my library and was like, well, I'll pick it up. Um, it is about Princess Denna who is being married off to the prince from the neighboring kingdom. And while she's there, she is harboring a secret and that is that she can control fire, um, which is very deadly and dangerous and a forbidden thing in the, both kingdoms. And so while she's holding the secret to herself, she is also being taught how to act like the proper royal princess for this kingdom by their princess, Princess Mare. And a bunch of stuff happens, and it's all in the synopsis, so if you don't want to be spoiled for some things, don't read the synopsis, because I kind of wish I didn't, but whatever. <laughs> um, but what they do say that I'm very excited about is that maybe the Princess Denna doesn't end up with the prince. Maybe she ends up with someone else. And so I'm very excited for that. I think it'll be great and I'm hoping it's like a hidden little gem. Um, so yeah, I'll just let you know as I read it. I do think I will, like I said, be starting with Keeper of the Lost Cities and then move on if and when I finish it. Hopefully I at least get it started this weekend. Other than that, this weekend, while I don't necessarily have a lot of things I have, to do there's a lot of things I want to do actually there are a, little, a lot of things I have to do I have to do homework I have to clean <laughs> and I have to read but I'm hoping I can do all of that and still have a good weekend and you'll get to just see all of it with me so yeah let's just get this journey started <laughs> Sparky for a walk. Here's stretching and shaking next to me. Um, what is I saying? Oh yeah, productive day. I took Sparky for a walk. I went out, ran some errands, found a cute little bookstore that I've never been to before. I what else I do? I did some homework. And I've been doing some reading for the past like 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know how long it's been. And I have been reading Keeper of Velocity's Lodestar. I'm currently about 70 to 70, 72 pages in, something like that. And the thing I like about these books is that you, they are middle grade. So I like how they jump into the action like right away. Like you are immediately thrown into a story, thrown into a scene. And as soon as you're in it, it's fast-paced, going, going, going. 
I really appreciate that for a middle grade novel because I know like these books are chunky <laughs> like they're real thick so you need something to feel like it's just going by really quickly like like I said I think I've only been reading 30 maybe 45 minutes and I'm already 70 pages in it's really it's really helpful <laughs> it's interesting <laughs> I will say the one thing I don't like about this is the love romantic parts of it um there is no romantic parts of it but she's like a 13 year old and she's got like boys falling all over and it's not really a lot of boys I'm, I mean I guess <laughs> there's three boys specifically maybe four maybe four that are like really obsessed with her love her want to get with her and stuff in the 13 year old way and I just wish it wasn't in here um because they are middle grade and it's just there's so much more going on in these stories that we don't need a romantic relationship at all but uh we'll just see where it ends up <laughs> I guess and yeah I do like that she has ignored them all so far I really like that and I guess that's kind of a spoiler but like she she understands that a lot of them a lot of these boys like her and she tends to be like I'm too busy for this and I'm like yes yes you're way too busy for this, Sophie. Ignore them. Be the friend. <laughs> but that's really my thoughts. And yeah, I'm going to go shower and then read some more and maybe have some chocolate cake. It's one of those good nights. <laughs> All right, good night, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, and I'm pretty sure it's actually the afternoon now <laughs> but uh I've had a good morning I have pretty much just been relaxing and I did read a little bit more um this morning as well as last night I'm now up to page 200 of um load keeper of the lost cities lodestar um I'm really liking it still still really fun still really fast paced and if you hear something that sounds like a bellyache it's my cat yelling at the dog <laughs> Okay, but yeah, I'm really liking it today. I only have Sparky. I only have um, about 400 to 500 pages left, so I'm really hoping I can finish it. This is such a fast, quick read. It is middle grade, and it is just really fast-paced and action-packed, so I think I can get it done pretty quick. Um, I do have some things I have to do, just the usual like homework and housekeeping and whatnot. That comes when you are... A college student <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go go ahead and get my productive afternoon started and hopefully I finish this book some homework and maybe get a nap probably not I don't need a nap I slept in a lot <laughs>
Cats and dogs are still fighting. But, you know, c'est la vie. I'm cutting onions and a tomato, and then I shall start on making my rice. But I just want to go ahead and let y'all know all my thoughts. Um, this book has been the most different out of the whole series than all the other ones, which is a good thing because, like I so said, the other ones, and I fully understand. I just want to say I fully understand this is a middle grade book, but it was very scattered in the first books. I kind of mentioned how this one has a more focused plot line, and so that one has made it a much easier, more enjoyable read for me personally. And then also, um, one thing I don't like about these books is that all the characters are obviously very young. Um, like, they are, our main character Sophie is 13 in this novel, and I just hate that they don't get any kid moments, you know? Like, I don't ever see her enjoy, <laughs> like, a moment of her life right now. She's so stressed out, poor girl. And, like, it makes me sad. I really wish that she could have just some good moments, you know? But, um, we're given, like, I think so far we've had two of those, sort of, in this book, and I just wish there were more of kids being kids, because I really think that's, like, important to see. I think, you know, other children who are going through stressful times can see, like, oh, she's stressed out and she's having a good time, so why can't I? Which maybe I'm reading too much into it. I probably am, but... Like, that's me. I'm gonna read way too much into it. So yeah, I just wish there were more kid moments. And I appreciate though that this has been more focused and more kid moment friendly. <laughs> I just, I, I'm excited to see where it goes into the future. And I still, I'm, I'm also like very confused about how the, um, what's the word? how like the romantic relationships are coming and developing and things like that. I like, <sighs> I just cut the onion by the way. So now I'm onto my tomato. Um, but actually while I do this, I'm gonna heat up some oil in my pan. For those of you interested in what I'm making, I'm making tostadas. I've made them multiple times and I love them. And they're actually like a pretty simple meal. They just take um, a second. And I'm not good at multitasking with cooking, um, says the girl who's filming and chopping. But like chopping is different. Um, I'm not good at doing like multiple things on the stove at one time because it freaks me out. So I'm making like the rice first and then I'll let it sit because rice is better that way anyways. And then I'll make the refried beans and whatnot. But um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, romantic relationships. So, like I said, I really like how Sophie, our main character, even though she like does have a crush and she like does have other boys crushing on her, she's very much like, I don't have time for this. I really appreciate that. Um, but at the same time, I just wish it would go away. I really just wish that like there was no romance in this, at least in, not until like, the very end or something because a 13 year old should not have a love square going on right now you know what I mean and it's not only like just Sophie like the other characters also like they're all like flirting with each other it's a little weird and I just am not here for it and Kira's not here for it if you can hear her hissing she's definitely not happy about it but yeah that's just that's my thoughts um I do think I'll finish tonight I don't know if I'll finish on camera because um, I'm really wanting to chillax and I, um, I might watch a movie, um, but I will probably stay up late and read because tomorrow's Sunday and I'm doing the same thing Sunday that I've done these two days, which is homework and read and chillax. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm just going to finish cutting up my tomato. Um, cook my rice and probably read just a tiny bit more. I'm reading this book really fast, uh, which is surprising that I haven't finished it, but not surprising because I've just been wasting my day. I was on Instagram for like an hour. No, I was on YouTube for an hour watching horse videos because I will forever and always be a horse girl. That's just me horsing around. 
so yeah, that's what I did for an hour, and then suddenly was like, wait, I need to finish this book today. So yeah. Here's to hoping that I don't get engrossed in more horse riding videos and that my tostadas turn out good, and that I finish this book. I might talk to y'all later, or I might not. We shall see. Sunday and the last day of the vlog um, and I have good news last night I finished Keeper of Velocity's Lodestar um, all 675 pages of it are done and I'm very proud of myself for getting that all done in two days um, my thoughts for this book are much similar it's pretty much the same as that I've been talking about for the past two days uh, this series definitely gets better. Keeper Lost Cities definitely gets better with every book that comes out. And as these characters grow and the world grows, I will say, um, as I was saying, how this book is a little more complicated than the last one, but yet simpler. And yet simpler than the whole series together. It did get really complicated at the end. And that's just something like, I, I do just wish that these books were a little bit simpler. Um, I know that they are, every single one of them is over 600 pages and there's like eight or nine books. I think there's eight out right now and nine in total. And so like, I know like a lot's got to go into them. <laughs> a lot has to go into each, into the just whole story. I know a lot has to go into to keep all these stories going, but I just, I think if each book was a little bit simpler, a little bit shorter, it would have been just as good and a little bit easier to read and it's almost to a point where there's so much complex things going on that it's like it's almost unbelievable and that's you're reading about like elves and dwarves and goblins and trolls and if you're reading that and you're like that's I don't believe that this would happen then that's kind of not a good thing but um I just I will continue the series, obviously. I really liked the book still. I would say it's probably a 3.5, maybe a 4. I'll probably put it as a 4 on Goodreads, um, when in reality it is a 3.5. Um, it just, it's a cute story, and I love the characters. I just wish it was more simple. It's, it's a middle grade book, and I am confused a lot of the time and find a lot of it unbelievable, but it's okay. It's okay, it's just a book. <laughs> um, so, my plans for today are to do the usual a little bit of homework a little bit of housework and then a lot of bit of reading i actually plan to do a little bit more reading than today than i have been setting aside for the other days um and i will be reading of fire and stars by audrey colehurst um i told you what this is about earlier and <laughs> sparky's really interested in it so maybe i'll read out loud to him probably not but i'm really excited for this i think it's going to be a really cute lgbtq IA plus like fantasy I just think it'll be fun and I'm I've been craving fantasy which is why I think I've read like a middle grade this weekend and I had this one on my shelf or on my TBR for this weekend I just I've been craving it but I don't want anything super complex so I'm really hoping that this one is just kind of straight and narrow to the point 
Um, I don't want to have to do a lot of thinking because I've been having to do a lot of thinking during my homework time. But yeah, um, with that, I think I'm going to go get ready for the day. Probably paint my nails before I start reading and then, yeah, just relax. Sit on the couch here with Sparky before he has to go home today and just read and have a good time. And I will update you as I go. I'm hoping that I can get at least 100, maybe 200 pages into this book. It's not super long. Um, it's about... It's about 400 pages. Um, okay, yeah, it's like 389, 389 pages, so it's about 400, and I'm hoping I can get um, 100 pages is my minimum, 200 pages is my stretch goal. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do, but paint my nails first, get ready, get some contacts on, and just start my day officially. two hours and I am a hundred pages into the book I just lost my page oh here it is so I'm 200 or er, 200 I'm only a hundred pages into the book it's been about two hours of reading it's so weird to go from like a book like Keeper's Lawsuits which is middle grade and it reads so quickly like 30 pages 30 pages or 50 pages in 30 minutes as compared to this one where it's like a hundred pages two hours very different experience but I'm really liking this story um I just, I can't tell if I love it right now, but I really, really like it. When I read fantasy, um, especially like uh, royal castle, like royal family fantasies and stuff like that, I don't usually pick up ones that are very political. Um, I don't have any problem with them. I've never like purposely not picked them up. I just haven't gravitated toward them. I usually go for the ones that are more adventure style. And this one is definitely more political heavy than I expected and I really enjoy it. I think it's really interesting and it's also very different from what I expected. So I thought in the synopsis it said that Princess Denna, that's what I'm gonna say, since she's going to this new kingdom to marry the prince, um, the prince's sister, Princess Mare, what I thought was going to be teaching um, Denna how to be like a good princess in their kingdom and that's completely wrong it turns out that she's just teaching her to ride horses because like horse riding is very important in this new kingdom and Denna has never done that um Denna Dina I don't know I'm gonna just say Denna because it rolls off my tongue a little easier so yeah she just uh she's teaching her Mare is teaching her how to um ride a horse and she herself is not a very good princess so I think um what's going to happen is they're going to start kind of teaching each other things. And it's, like I said, it's already very political and it's only 100 pages in and I really like it. I also really like how Princess um, Dena, Dina, whatever, um, I like how she's not perfect. I really get tired of series where the main character or princess is perfect um, because obviously like princesses are like trained or taught to be uh, as close to perfect as possible and I really like how she's not she gets very nervous she's not good at a lot of things she's kind of clumsy but not in the oh I'm clumsy but I'm also graceful way but in the like I'm actually clumsy because I'm nervous way and I really appreciate it I love when when characters have those flaws that just make them more realistic and this one it does 
it feels more realistic. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I like something, a twist just happened. And I kind of was shocked, even though it's in the synopsis, I was still like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm excited to see how this new mystery of who did it, who done it, is going to add to the story and make the girls come closer and closer and maybe even closer. I really like it. I also really like that there's, that the prince is not a douche. Because, <laughs> you know, she, Denna is supposed to marry him. And a lot of the times when it has a plot line like that, um, the guy is just rude and mean. And he's not. He's very respectful, very nice. Um, if anything, he's a little aggressive in his political standings or political strategies. But, like, other than that, he's a good guy. And I like that. Like, why does everyone have to be a jerk? You know what I mean? It's So far, it's really good. I'm really interested. And I'm excited to keep going. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep reading. I... Sparky is over here napping away. I'll probably show you a little clip real quick. Mr. Sparky here is sleeping the day away. Hey! Um, and I'm just gonna get back to reading, pretty much. Well, it has been a hour, I think, since I last updated you. Not very long, but I didn't read that whole time. If you hear a dog eating, I'm very sorry, sorry but um, Sparky's hungry. And he matters way more than me. If you hear a hungry stomach, that's not Sparky, that's Kira being a jerk. So sorry for the noise. Sparky, go, shoo, go chew somewhere else. Um, what's the same? Oh yeah, um, so the hour that I had been supposed to be reading, the hour I was supposed to be reading, I instead filmed a, another video, which, you know, is still good because I needed to do it and I'm glad I got it out of the way. So that's what I had done and it's now getting pretty late in the evening. I'm about to have to um, start cooking dinner and then uh, go pick up my significant other to watch the Cowboys game. And so my night for the rest of the night will basically be dedicated to just hanging out with him and having a good time and not reading because that's what I've been doing most of the weekend, which I'm very grateful for. But now it's time for some quality couple time, I guess. Whatever. Gotta do it at some point. Um, but yeah, I am very proud of how I did this weekend. I think my camera's crooked. Was it like that the whole time? Yes? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, what was the thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm very happy with how, I, how much I read this weekend. I read... Um, pretty much over 700 pages, maybe even over. So I think my final, I, f I stopped reading at like 120 pages or something like that. And Lodestar was 675. So I read 700. So I read 795 pages. Is my math correct? Who knows? I'm not a math person. But yeah, I'm very happy. I finished a book that I've been meaning to read and I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited to be reading something that I haven't ever heard of before. Even though it was published last year. How have I not heard of something that was published last year? Like, I, I always feel so bad about those books that you hear over and over and over and over again. And then I find something that was published in the same year and never heard of it. it makes me feel terrible. But it's okay. I'm reading it now. I'm going to promote it if I like it. And so far, I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, Sparky is so loud. This ending is chaotic. It's a chaotic end. Um, that's it for this weekend vlog. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed all the dog content, please thumbs up. I tried to show him as much as possible because I love him and I miss him when he's gone. Ugh. Breaks my heart. But um, yeah, uh, if you like me, or just my channel and what I'm trying to do, what I'm uploading or whenever I upload, um, go ahead and subscribe and maybe stick around a little bit. Maybe. But that's all I really have to say now. So I think I'm gonna go. Especially since there's a lot of tension right now between Kira and Sparky. I will catch y'all later uh, in a different video. I'm going now. Bye.